Greetings fellow humans, Bad Mark here with another quick transmission from Mech Tech Keyboards and today we're going to touch on tools, specifically switch pullers. Now I'm sure um, if you've been in the hobby for any amount of time you have at least a couple of these in your repertoire. Um, these if anything are probably my least favorite. They do work, don't get me wrong, but because they're you kind of have to stick your whole, whole hand in there when you're de dealing with um, a keyboard that already has some keycaps and you're just trying to get to a specific switch. It can be a bit of a pain. Now, I know that some plates are tighter than others, but just one quick trick. I don't know why. I mean, not for nothing, but one of my most or the most viewed video that I have on YouTube is a 15 second short of how to pull out a switch from a hot swap socket. So it obviously is something that people, some people just assume it's gonna be easy. Other people just assume people should know how to do it. Um, but it's a simple thing that I think a lot of people, because no one showed them how to do it, they just kind of figure out their own way. I don't know. Um, but just, just for the intents of being you know, completely clear, the way that I do it is that I grab and put this underneath the middle part, which should be grabbing the tab. Each switch has a tab at both the top and the bottom. You do the same for the top, and make sure you squeeze, and you should have to use very little force to pull that switch up out of that socket. If you're having to pull hard, and you know, hard enough to where the keyboard might come with you, you're, you're not clipping on to these clips. And you'll see a lot of times people actually break this little part right here because instead of actually clipping on to the clip, they're just pulling on that side of the top housing, which isn't what you need to do. That clip is on the bottom housing, and those spots are what lock it into the plate. So, that said, um, this, for the most part, has become my go-to uh, switch puller, this style. Now, granted, I do like the orange and black one, uh, which usually come in the CIY boards. They're just a little bit, the, the metal on it doesn't bend quite as easily. Now, that said, I want to, uh, well, then there's these, which, honestly, these are IC chip pullers. I've had these tools for quite some time, and they're great for pulling, you know, the little chips with the legs. They're kind of like black cockroaches with silver legs they're great for pulling those switches out and they can work on some keyboards i mean they do work don't get me wrong they do work i just think that again they're a bit cumbersome like this i think this is the nicer one now about a year ago or so i purchased one of these this is a gatoron switch puller now this is the third one i've got why because after about a keyboard a keyboard and a half these pins or these legs that it has right here would just get bent out of shape just the slightest but to the point that they no longer worked so i'd send it back i get a new one last time i actually uh contacted gatoron and they sent me one directly and they say the new revision is coming soon i haven't seen it as of yet but basically the way these work is that you line it up to to where you know because you can see the bottom, you can't really see the top unless you're coming from the other way. But you're supposed to line it up to where those legs are right at the bottom and the top of the clip of the switch. And then you push down. And then it should be locked into place so that you can pull straight up and it comes out. Now, this one is one that I've only used a handful of times because, like I said, the other two, after using them for a while, um, they were just, just the slightest amount of coming out of shape and then they just don't work anymore they'll pull one side out they'll they'll, they'll cause more issues um, than than not uh, if there is a revised version of this I'd like to take a look at it now the other day I received this from key move 
uh, key move. Uh, they have a couple of keyboards, um, one that looks like a low profile, but it's not the K68, um, which I've reviewed on this channel before. They asked me to take a look at it. Now, this is a two-in-one. This is a keycap puller and a switch puller. You can pull these, these flags out and pull keycaps off, which, I mean, pretty standard. Now, personally, I think it's a little bulky for keycaps, and I haven't really been using it for that, but some people might like it. Though, the one thing that I have to say is I've now used this on four keyboards, um, taking out the switches, and it has not failed on me once. So I was afraid that this, I mean, it seems to have a similar mechanism. Obviously, I can't see in there, but though this does have a... <clears throat> Uh, like a pole to I guess push the switch out where here the switch just kind of falls out from gravity but I've got to say I don't know if they invented this or if they're just uh, white labeling it but whoever designed this put some thought into it because it's the same thing you line it up the top and the bottom you push down and then you pull up and the switch comes out now like I said it has I have used it on at least four keyboards, it might actually, well, not five, four and a half, let's say, and it continues to work. The only thing that annoys me are these legs when they come loose because I'm not gonna use it for a keycap puller because it's a little too bulky and just the way the the wings work, because, you know, they aren't, they won't stay still, so it's like, even if I go to press it down, they're gonna spread apart. So, I prefer these pull keycaps off but for this one it has continued to work for me without issue line up push down and then pull up that's it so oh, on the button to eject so. so and it does make it much easier and this one also I don't know why they both have like I said very similar designs uh, but when I was using the Gatoron it was a lot more likely to scratch up the plate. Now, Gatoron, if you guys, you said that you'd let me know when you had a new revision. I still haven't received an email from you. But if you guys do have a new revision, I'm willing to take a look at it. But Keymove sent me an email, and they asked me how I liked it. And I said, I like it just fine. And they're like, well, we have a 50% off deal right now with it in case anyone else is interested. So if any of you guys are interested and want to take a look at a new um switch pulling tool i mean especially for myself i'm <laughs> i'm installing and pulling out at least a thousand switches or more per week um yes i have more keyboards than i know what to do with but you guys get to enjoy or i hope at least enjoy my content so i definitely use a tool much more often than i would guess most people do but i personally from my experience like i said this is all metal this should be better not only is it from Gatoron, but it's an all-metal. It's a tool that I would imagine the engineers at Gatoron could get right. Um, but again, this was revision 2. There's supposed to be a revision 3. I've yet to see it. The revision 1 and 2, I did, I could not tell the difference. Um, the 2 maybe lasted a couple more switches than the first, but I don't know. So if you guys are interested, this key move... Uh, keycap puller. I'm just going to call it a switch puller. I probably eventually will just take these off because they kind of just get in my way. But if you're looking for something new as far as a keycap puller goes, I mean, this is definitely a choice and you're going to, especially if you're dealing with painted steel plates, you're going to be a lot less likely to scratch off the paint using this because you're not digging around. You're just pressing down and then pulling up. Like I said, if you're pulling up any more force than just, you know, if you think it's too much force, it's probably too much force. It shouldn't take too much force because once those clips are grabbed, they should just pop out. So I hope that, um, I mean, if you guys get this and you like it, let me know down below. If you already have it, let me know what you think. Or if you have this one, I'd love to hear your thoughts about it. But anyway, I just wanted to give you guys a little quick, uh, quick video on switch pullers. I know that they kind of fall by the wayside, but they're an important tool in our hobby. So what do you think? What would you go with? The Gatoron 
well, version 3, which we haven't taken a look at yet. The key move one, the IC chip puller one, or just your standard double-sided. Love to hear what you guys are thinking out there. Until the next transmission, keep calm and keyboard on.